Okay, so today we are looking at making an, our own artwork in the style of Hopper. So what do we mean by in the style of Hopper? Well, looking back to the uh, painting that I copied last lesson, um, we can see that his use of light is really important, his use of perspective. He likes to create these quite um, atmospheric uh, landscapes that uh, give that feeling perhaps of loneliness or isolation. Um, so here we've got um, a really pretty Cornish cottage by the sea that I'm going to draw and alter so that he's, it more fits the style of Edward Hopper. So first of all, um, looking at the landscape lines up here, there's a, um, a hill line come down here and one across there. I'm going to keep those. I'm just going to um, increase the height of that hill in the front there just to add more perspective. Um, I'm going to put in that second line so that my cottage can sit on that one. Um, you can see in Hopper's work the, the house just sits on the landscape. It almost looks like it's been cut out and stuck on. So I want to create that similar effect. Now the cottage itself um, because I'm trying to create this idea of isolation, I'm actually going to leave out this section here and just focus on this section so I can have it isolated within the landscape. Um, and I think I'm actually going to give it a bit more height so it feels a bit more um, domineering in the landscape as well. So I'm just going to bring up those roof lines. So I'm looking at this section here first. So I'm ignoring all of that. So I've put in what I imagine the end of that cottage to look like because you can't see it in there. And I'm going to bring this roof line across. And I'm also going to ignore these little outbuildings on the side here. I should put some windows in there instead so that I can have that, um, that idea of the light and the dark being really quite obvious in this as I'm trying to do it in the style of. I'm then going to take the second roof line up here but I'm going to make that a bit taller than I imagine it to be in that picture and I'm actually going to bring it up a bit taller at the front to exaggerate that perspective and make it more domineering in that landscape. Bring that roof line across. At the moment I'm just doing a line drawing because I'm going to be adding some colour to this. Just want that line drawing to start off with. And I'm going to leave out that front section there as well. So I've got this really blocky um, building on here. I'm going to put in the chimneys though. Um, I quite like the way that they reach up into the skyline. And I'm going to put the chimney in on this one as well. Then I need to start making some decisions about windows and how I'm going to use those. So I am going to put in quite a large window on this side, like this. And I'm going to put in a what I imagine to be a door and a window on the side here. Um, keeping an eye on your perspective lines when you're drawing these windows so that they look like they're in the right place even though they are imagined. I'm going to put in windows on the side here. So these echo the windows that are on there. And I'm going to put some blinds in these windows. When we look at Hopper's work, these are blinds in the window, that's the yellow parts. Um, and that helps with that idea of the light and the tone on those. And then on the side here, I'm just going to put in additional window there. Um, I'm actually going to put the sea line in. There's a bit of sea here. So I'm going to draw that line of the sea in because I think that adds to the desolation that we're looking for. And 
that is going to do it for my drawing. I'll come back and show you colour in a moment.